Hello everyone. In this shielding shots, I am going to tell you about a small cell carcinoma of lung, which is having highest mutational burden amongst all lung cancer, right? And they will be having almost universal inactivation of both 53 p53 gene and retinoblastoma gene. They are associated with amplification of L mic genes, right? Which is a nuclear transcription factor. right they are also having neurosecretory granule because a small cell cancer of the lung is a neuroendocrine tumor so they will be having neurosecretory granule which will be having neuroendocrine marker like a chromogranin synaptophysin cd56 and cd57 and amongst all type of lung cancer this is the most common lung cancer associated with the pro uh, paraneoplastic syndrome so and most common paraneoplastic syndrome in small cell cancer of lung is siadh it is more commoner than cushing syndrome right and what are the features we are going to see so there are two important features in this cell we are going to observe in small cell cancer of the lung or any neuroendocrine tumor number 1 is fine stippling of the chromatin so you can see fine stippling of the chromatin is present in this nuclei which is the reason for salt paper chromatin which is characteristic of any neuroendocrine tumor including the small cell cancer of the lung and in this cytoplasm you will see neurosecretory granule but not on light microscopy it will be visualized on the electron microscopy right so you can see all the these cells are cytology of the small cell cancer and you can notice they are having fine stippling right so they are all having salt paper nuclear chromatin so these are all salt paper nuclear chromatin right now on electron microscopy as i said you can see neurosecretory granules they are showing you dense core dark granules right so this is called dense core granule as you can see in this electron microscopy right so these are all dense core granules which i am showing you right what they will be containing all the neuroendocrine marker chromogranin synaptophysin leucine 7 neurofilament bombesin cd56 cd57 all these will be present inside the dense core granules right and one more feature which we will see on cytological examination that is the nuclear molding which is characteristic of a small cell cancer of the lung nuclear molding means one nuclei is putting impression on the another surrounding nuclei so they are all putting impression you can see one example here this nuclei is putting impression on the surrounding nuclei so this is called as nuclear molding which is characteristic of the small cell cancer of the lung and seen on histopathological examination sorry in cytological examination and there is another thing which you can notice in this histological specimen there are so many tiny small round blue cell tumors right so these are small round blue cell tumor which are seen in small cell cancer of the lung and when you are going to see the blood vessel can you notice all these blood vessels are not looking red in color they are all looking blue in color so why they are blue in color that is because of the azopardi effect what is azopardi effect all the nuclear chromatin will be leaking outside from the nuclei of the small cell cancer lung and they are, then they are going to stain the blood vessel in the blue color so this basophilic staining of the blood vessel wall is known as azopardi effect which is seen in small cell cancer of lung enjoy learning best